During neuronal migration, the nerve is guided to its target by a specialized structure at the tip of the axon called the growth cone. The growth cone contains surface receptors that allow it to respond to specific cues in the environment by altering the cytoskeleton, changing membrane growth, and coordinating cell adhesion. The peripheral growth cone contains lamellipodia, or a broad membranous sheath supported by short branched actin networks. Finger-like projections, called filopodia, extend into the environment by longer polymers of actin, shown in yellow. The filopodia act as a sensory network, receiving cues from the environment. The center of the growth cone contains microtubules, shown in purple, which are polymers of tubulin responsible for extending the axon shaft. Regulation of actin polymerization drives growth cone movement. Rho GTPases carry out cytoskeletal changes by regulating actin microfilament growth in response to cues from the environment. Attractant cues cause polymerization of actin and tubulin toward those cues. In contrast, repulsive cues cause both actin and tubulin dimers to depolymerize, which destabilizes the growth cone on the side of the repulsive stimulus. Instead, actin and tubulin are transported to the opposite side of the cell to extend the growth cone away from the repulsive cues. In order for net movement to occur, integrins on the surface of the growth cone form temporary focal adhesions with the extracellular matrix to pull the neuron along. When an axon approaches its target, in this case a muscle fiber, it must form a specialized junction called a synapse. As the growth cone approaches the muscle fiber, augrin, shown in green, is released to cause acetylcholine receptors in the muscle to cluster beneath the axon. Next, neurotransmitter vesicles, shown in orange, enter the axon terminal. At this point, an extracellular matrix containing neuron-specific laminin is produced to connect the axon terminal to the muscle cell. Other axons begin to converge to the same synaptic site on the muscle, but the most active neuron ultimately outcompetes the others. A survival factor called neurotrophin is key to determining which axon remains at the synapse. The surviving axon continues to branch and is ultimately sheathed by a Schwann cell, shown in white, to complete formation of stable neuromuscular junction.